Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 550D and Nikon D3300. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 550D and the Nikon D3300 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 1st of April 2010 and the 21st of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 550D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D3300. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 550D and the Nikon D3300. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 550D. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D3300. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 550D. I love the T2i T3i camera for budget filmmaking. It takes beautiful stills and the video quality is incomparable in its price range. The build quality could be improved, but the usability is good and the LCD is fantastic. Stills look great, especially paired with the right lens. The video quality is the highlight of this camera, and with the right settings and accessories, the audio can also be excellent. Overall, it's a 5-star camera, but with Magic Lantern firmware installed, it becomes a $2,000 powerhouse. I've been using the T2i, and overall, I really liked it. The 18-megapixel sensor is great, and the ISO performance is impressive. The movie mode is powerful, and the new LCD is a nice touch. However, the AEB and new battery system are drawbacks. Overall, it's a great prosumer DSLR that's worth considering over more expensive options like the 7D. I'll be selling my 7D to invest in better lenses for the T2i. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D3300. I love my new camera, especially for action shots of my dog. I got it for a great price on Black Friday and have had no issues using it. I also use Adobe Softwares for post-processing. I recommend getting some accessories like a remote time shutter, tripod, and camera cover for added convenience and protection. This camera is a great replacement for my old Nikon D40. The photos are phenomenal and far superior to smartphone photos. The video feature is a huge plus, although the auto-focusing sound interferes with the video's sound. The camera is easy to use and the price is right for the quality of photos I can take. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 550D. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D3300. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 